all right some more live attacks and um, yeah you guys can just learn from my mistakes we're going to be taking the fireball into some legend league attacks and um yeah that's about it let's just see how we do the army link will be in the description as always you can see what i have on my heroes in terms of their pets as well as their equipments and of course the angry jelly even though it's level one we're going to continue using it on the warden so let's just get into some attacks Okay, I think I've covered this <laughs> this specific base quite a few times, um, but we're just gonna walk through it again. If I get a fireball on the town hall, I can get both the multi infernos and the clan castle behind the town hall itself. So we're just gonna get started with that. Uh, but I need to be aware of the fact that my warden's um, jelly lasts for around, I guess, twenty five. No, 25 seconds at level 1. So let's just try to see what it is that we can do over here. Um, hopefully by the time that uh, by the time 25 seconds elapse, he will be in a position which uh, where he can use the fireball like normally so as to say. Okay, I'm going to make him go invisible over here. It's just too risky. Um, yeah, I think he should be going to like normal mode so as to say right now. And I believe the town hall is also the closest defense so you know what let's just let's just do this and oh i i should have okay one mistake i made over here that you guys can learn from already uh, it's that i used my fireball a little too early i should have held on to it a little bit longer and uh, now we're just going to have to deal with the consequences so all right what can we do what can we do with a siege machine i'm thinking I, I can just use like a drill over here and i will just send my queen um on the opposite direction of where my uh, warden is going towards so let's just um let's just save our warden over here i don't want him to die literally immediately and also let's start funneling the queen to go towards the core a little bit over here so one more rage spell for the queen as well because she's going to walk into some danger um not time for me to wall break just yet maybe now is a good time because the ricochet cannon is getting frozen down a little bit and the queen should walk right around very very beautifully once again let's just save my warden hopefully i can do it in time all right looking good looking good and now i can probably bust my king in here that's a good time to do so i believe yeah, this is looking pretty decent so far. It's fine if my king goes down over there uh, because the queen and the royal champion will be in some good spots, so as to say. So now the queen has nicely, hopefully, 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 I'll get the wall break down. Okay, nice, nice, nice. So that's working out very, very well already. Uh, we can just use the drill and the royal champion to kind of just support. Uh, okay, I've lost my queen through our ability, but it's fine. Honestly, it's fine. Uh, it <laughs> We've gotten all the value that we needed from her. So that's that's the only reason why I'm saying it's fine to this extent because the siege and my royal champion can easily finish off the rest of this base and we also took the efforts to keep our own royal champion alive as well. So all in all, not bad at all. Um, yeah, just the only big mistake I made was my fireball was very premature. I should have waited for the earthquakes to wake up the town hall and then my fireball could have treated the town hall itself as a defense. So the fireball went for the expo over there. That's the only mistake uh, that I really made on that one. But yeah, that was a nice triple to begin with, despite of the mistake. And that just goes to show you, like, you can make quite a few mistakes in this attack and you can still get your three stars. It's pretty simple. <laughs> so let's just move on to the next one. All right, another annoying style of base. Um, for this one, the, uh, the biggest risk is very honestly just running into time fail because the town hall area just keeps going invisible right like that's that's about it so for this one what i usually try to do is i try to just have my fireball target one of the invisibility towers and um, that just makes life a lot easier and as soon as that happens we need to really multitask so let's just get this going i like to start on the monolith uh, especially with this angry jelly now because um, it's like the best way to get a flame finger moving and i'll show you exactly what i mean by that so let me just go ahead and test for some teslas before doing anything else 
and very very shortly you're gonna see that uh, this guy's angry jelly can carry him through the entire monolith and we didn't have to deal with a single storage and now the angry jelly detaches but it's way too late we've locked onto that monolith i needed zero spells of my own and that monolith is no more we're gonna go on the warden will keep moving a bit towards the right over here i believe he should go to the warden next and as soon as he takes the warden statue and this wizard tower down like um this cluster over here we're gonna pop a fireball to go for this multi inferno so let's just um wait for that let's just be a little patient no need to really rush things uh we can get some cleanup moving just like that like one archer more than enough honestly and um yeah, let's just wait for our warden to very patiently just keep moving on a bit towards the uh, right over here. Make this entire thing invisible as a precaution. And there we go. That's a nice fireball. Notice I only used one of my... Of my... Um, I can't even talk. I only used one of my uh, earthquakes over there. That's what I'm trying to say. I only used one of my earthquakes. It looks like there's a damage CC over here. I'm going to be a little careful. Oh, it's witches. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. Uh, I, I have already used my poison spell over here. Hopefully, hopefully we can do something to uh, get this skeletons down a little early. But I'm, I'm just going to have to move very, very quickly over here. I don't really have much of a choice. So, yeah, let's just see what we can do as well. I'm going to have to start my king. Looks like my queen is fine with the help of the baby dragon. Yeah, I think she's going to finally start targeting them. <laughs> <laughs> about time huh? and yeah let's just break her out of the compartment as well and let's just think about what we want to do with our all champion as well uh, we need to get each phase moving pretty pretty quickly we don't really have much of an option and um, yeah we just have to make sure that the entire core eventually does go down so i only have 40 seconds left over here uh, it's not much left very very honestly we're just gonna have to see <clears throat> what it is that we can do to get this uh, town hall compartment down as well now so i, st I have like two rage spells as well um i'm going to be ha i'm just going to have to be a little careful over here uh okay i'm just going to pop this one going over here i'm going to pop this one going over here i'll just put an earthquake on the entire core hopefully we can get it down hopefully we can make these guys invisible in time freeze up the core just as a precaution queen ability oh man that came terribly 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 close <laughs> we almost one started that one and you could see it was like a practically a nine uh it was practically just a time fail but as i was saying like time is the biggest problem on that one and um i guess the biggest um problem that i faced was the clan castle on this one which is the only reason why i took a little bit of time to deploy my king and my royal champion um, but otherwise that is the approach you're gonna have to take it is very risky and you're more likely than not going to keep the town hall uh, as the last building so it can get scary but just remember whenever you face a double invis base like this you need to get each phase moving very very quickly you do not you don't have time to spare because you have to make the core invisible once again after using the fireball on the other side so <laughs> yeah it's just a little scary that way but uh, it's not something that's impossible. Just <laughs> be a bit more efficient than I was and you'll, you'll, you'll get your three stars. All right, another anti two style setup and it's another <laughs> double invest style base. But over here, the town hall area itself is not very heavily populated. So maybe we can try to take advantage of that just a little bit. Uh, okay. I'm thinking we can get a flame finger going from the very top of the base and I can probably get a fireball on the ricochet cannon or even if I just get rid of builder hut that's good enough for me so let's just get started with that um, and I want my warden to go down because my flame finger will be working at the top of the base right so <clears throat> okay might as well just go ahead and take this opportunity to get the enemy queen down all right that should work well um, Warden also looks like he is about ready to go ahead and um, start targeting the uh, the Builder Hut soon. So yeah, as soon as this cannon goes down, lovely job done by our Angry Jelly once again. Um, yeah, I think we can do this. And I think one more. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Okay, it seems like my Warden will go up from over here. Maybe I can redirect him a little. 
oh wow that actually works out wonderfully the fact that he's going for a town hall <laughs> even if he gets, just gets that one um in which tower down it's it's already very very good for me so yeah, i'm just gonna let him like stay up over there uh we can see what to do later okay i'm gonna have to get that clan castle also dealt with so he is in a bit of a very he's in a risky spot yeah i don't think i can keep him alive and i'm just gonna have to somehow reach the core over here one way or the other now i don't know how i'm going to be able to do this but let's just see let's just see i have four ward because i should be able to um easily get through the core over there let's just try it out hopefully i don't lose my queen ability that'll be really really nice okay now i just need to make sure that i'm able to push my queen into the core and that that's about it that's all i really need to do okay so if i can just get some wall breaks to go into the core for me that will be really 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 helpful so i'm just gonna freeze this because I want to save my royal champion as well. All right, not looking too bad. Hopefully, my queen can stay alive through this mess. Okay, I'm gonna pop my queen ability over here for obvious reasons. The invis tower just happened to pop at a terrible time. Um, yeah, it's all down to my queen now. If she can get even like one shot on that monolith before. Okay, great. Okay, no, no, she still goes down. <laughs> Uh, a little unfortunate yeah, just a little unfortunate um, I didn't expect my warden to go all the way up like that so that was definitely one small thing that I missed otherwise this would have been a triple pretty pretty easily I was hoping that my warden would stay down and then keep tracking over here so that was just one small detail I guess that I missed uh, but not bad not bad uh, we did recover it pretty well considering I had to use a lot of spells <laughs> so that's that's fine we'll just move on to the next one all right midway point it's a good it's just going to be a lot of anti two cell bases i feel so <laughs> let's just see what we can do once again i'm thinking on this one if i get a fireball on the ricochet cannon i can get all of this uh value out from over there which is obviously very very good for me but i need to start thinking about what i can do to follow up after that right mm. okay for starters, let's just get let let's just get that going, right? Uh, okay, I need to protect my warden, otherwise he is going to die. Okay, perfect, perfect. He's not going to take too much of damage over there. Yeah, I think I don't need to give him any spells. Um, so let's just let the angry jelly do its thing. I'm not going to really worry about him too much, and I'm not going to make the same mistake I made last time. I'm just I'm just going to wait and see where he decides to go before he decides to. Uh, do anything absurd so hopefully yeah the warden goes to the archer tower first and then uh, we can get that uh, ricochet cannon down and notice how i'm splitting my earthquakes over here so that i can span the entire width of uh, what the fireball is capable of and that's just one small detail i hope you guys can appreciate like um, just getting the fireballs uh, spread like that that's the only reason i'm carrying two earthquakes despite of high having that higher level fireball in this army comp uh, but it's totally worth it and yeah i just <laughs> hope you guys can also appreciate that detail so i'm just going to give him a skeleton spell and we're just going to forget about him for the time being i'm hoping we can actually converge on the on the final rage tower area so as to say and to that extent i'm even going to just get rid of um, the area on top like that oh i'm gonna have to freeze this let's just switch to a battle drill for now yeah, if this guy gets the eagle down, then that's just a lot of damage we don't really have to deal with anymore. And that's all I really want. <laughs> so now at this point, I'm just creating a sort of funnel to ma make sure that my queen goes towards the monolith. And um, yeah, that's pretty, that's honestly good enough for me. So now, okay, I'm going to have to protect him, make him invisible so that the clan castle goes for my queen. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Really, that's about it. So now at this point... Uh, the town hall is secure not really much to worry about okay now let's just join the royal champion and my own um, uh, battle drill from the top of the base like that hopefully should, this should work fine i'll just give the queen one last rage 
um yeah it's fine that my uh, warden also went down over there he's honestly gotten more than enough value and at this point i, can, I think i can just pop my royal champion ability especially with the drill carrying me through that entire area so let's just hope this works out well <laughs> otherwise i'm going to be in a bit of trouble my drill is also still at pretty good health so i will take that and um, yeah if it pops over here it's still perfectly fine as well so yeah this is looking pretty strong again it's just a matter of time honestly at this point so let's see yeah it looks to be a very very um <laughs> very close fail once again but i think maybe maybe i didn't manage my uh, resources around the warden walk better uh, when i had to join with my royal champion for example uh, my warden actually took a lot of damage from the ricochet uh, ricochet cannon and just directly died if i could have preserved him such that he could have walked with the royal champion and then both of them um, could have tagged him together such that my king um, also went in over here and got all the value that i wanted from him it would have it would have actually worked out really really well for me looks like uh, the meta is a lot of anti two cell bases um so if you're having trouble defending at least you can try to have a look at um the attacks that i'm doing over here and then understand what it is that maybe you should prioritize uh but that being said let's just see what it is that we can maybe try to do on another tricky base so okay i'm thinking i can probably get a fireball on the monolith deeper in the core and i'm it's going to take some time i'm well aware but uh let's just try to do it like i don't think it's impossible so i think for starters i can definitely at least um get this enemy queen out of the way so that should also work out for me hopefully yeah looks like i'll get that enemy queen down no problems there um great that angry jelly also go goes ahead and just pulls like some seeking air mines from me as well so Okay, yeah, now we're in this position because um, the warden ended up following the troops, you could say. Um, but it's fine, like, I can just take advantage of this. I can just drop the flame finger up top. Um, instead of going directly for the monolith, maybe uh, it's, it's looking like I'm going to have to do something like uh, probably go for the multi archer tower or something, um, which is also fine. Like, if I get the multi archer tower or um, what do you call it? Yeah, let's just see like well let's see what we get from the score over here all right that's that that works out very that works out perfectly yeah um i got most of the core out over here the only thing that's really left is that eagle uh, eagle artillery um but once again it's an anti two style base we don't have too much of time to waste so i'm just gonna go ahead and think about what i want to do with the rest of my heroes uh, i'm thinking i can just start my queen um probably over here something like that and then I can have my king just come in and um, yeah once again I'm just gonna make my warden invisible over here just to very 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 easily um, get the town hall down yeah and that works out perfectly as well so okay for some <laughs> for some reason my king is coming back I'm gonna pop my queen ability over there I'm not very concerned about things right now um, yeah, the warden can just go ahead and take his time over there. I'm not very concerned about him at all at this point. Um, sure, the healers can just <laughs> walk around as well, uh, I guess. <laughs> um, it's okay. I guess I'm just going to have to uh, salvage the situation the way I'm trying to do so, like literally right now. Uh, yeah, I think king should go back in. I can pop his abilities really shortly like that. Uh, it's just a matter of time right at this point okay i'm gonna freeze those ice golems in place so that my royal champion doesn't think of going back to them and yeah let's see hopefully we can get this one down and not time fail this time okay looks like now i'm gonna finally get stuck on the ice golems but both of them froze at the same time so i'm not too concerned about time i think we should be able to get this one down i'm gonna freeze those skeletons as well in place so that nobody thinks of roaming around and um yeah that's it that we we got this one despite of a few mistakes uh but yeah we took advantage of the weaknesses that are there in the base and we did recover do be careful um your angry jelly uh, on the warden right like uh, he doesn't follow people around while the angry jelly is active 
but the moment it comes off he will start following people if there is like 20 housing space uh, around him somewhere so he will go ahead and follow those super barbarians or yetis all the way until they die so just a, a little something to be careful of but other than that i think you guys can see like it is not too difficult to manage uh, especially on compact cores uh, just a few invis spells which we have plenty of and you're fine you'll get those triples all right i'm not even surprised at this point we're just we just have another anti two style base over here um interesting one to say the least i think okay hmm. mm. i'm not sure but i think if i target the if i target the multi inferno i'll only get the left ricochet cannon down so i'm just gonna go ahead and take that risk uh, I'm also aware that the clan castle will get pulled pretty much immediately, but I am fine with that. Like, let's just work with it. Uh, I'm going to have to make this guy invisible over here. Uh, I'll also go ahead and make that invisible and then hopefully that should make him target. Yeah, okay, that, that works out perfectly. <laughs> I'm just going to have to, um, yeah, poison all of this up. But that's fine, I think. I'm just hoping that that wizard doesn't immediately kill my healers. Okay, we seem to be okay. Yeah, I'm fine with this value. It's a good starting point, honestly. Like, why why would I not want to <laughs> kill um, the monolith to begin with? And I just need to figure out what it is that I can do to carry on with the rest of the attack. It looks like I'm going to have to save the town hall for the very end. Um, okay. Okay, um... Let's just think about it a little bit. So, yeah, I think he should go and he should stick the right from over here. Like he should continue to go in that direction. So I'm just going to go ahead and start my queen at the bottom of the base over here. I Once again, I don't think I can use my flame flinger. So I think I'm, it's going to have to either be the drill or the siege barracks, but I'm not very sure just yet. So, okay. Let me just get this started, you know, why not? Uh, okay, okay. You know what, I'm gonna try to use the siege barracks over here. And then I'm gonna use my king in the middle over here. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm also gonna have these guys just go ahead and take over the entire um, eagle artillery compartment. So let's just try to get this wall break timed at a proper time, you could say. Okay, good, warden is also targeting the core. Um, these guys should be heading to go nicely towards that eagle compartment as well. Uh, might as well join with my royal champion over here. I'm really not very concerned. Um, looks like my warden will be able to handle that entire um, town hall section so as to say. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop the rest of my abilities on, the, on my heroes. Uh, might as well raise these guys up a little bit. Uh, because I really don't think uh, my queen re requires any more support from over here. Like she can just sacrifice herself at this point. Uh, yeah, just protect my warden once again. And we can just start following up a little bit. Like this one after another. I think this should be fine. Yeah, this should work out perfectly. Alright. Yeah, that worked out very, very well. I think this is the first time I've used my siege barracks in a battle like this. Um... But yeah, this just should work out really, really well. So that's another interesting way to use the siege barracks, I guess, um, in this attack. Like the fact that we can just have a lot of cross tanking, even just using maybe like our Yeti, a few super vibrants and our king itself. Um, those guys easily handled this entire area. Like it's just broad open compartments. And um, yeah, they can easily just overpower that entire thing with a lot of cross tanking. Um, yeah, interesting triple. We'll just move on to the next one. Alright, second last attack. And this is a base I've actually covered in a very in my literally like li literally my previous video uh, on fireballs. So I believe for this one what I did was I targeted one of the invis towers very directly. And we're just gonna go ahead and probably uh, do the same thing once again. So Let's, let's just get that started to begin with and okay yeah I believe I had gone from a clan castle side let's just try to pull out whatever clan castle troops could possibly be there it would be great if we can even just stall them 
with a couple of super barbarians just let them chill out over there for a second and um, yeah not much for us to really do over there after that let's just check for some teslas there should be a few over here maybe hopefully i can just have these guys chill out there a little bit longer um okay yeah this looks pretty solid i think we just need to i'm used to going to make sure that my warden goes towards the top over here i believe in my video i made him go towards the bottom uh bottom half of this base but let's just try to make him go to the top instead and let's just see if we can like still get it to work uh some variety you know okay oh wow there's teslas over there that could be a bit of a problem for us um i'm gonna need my warden to walk up a bit more and then and then we can probably see uh how we can use our invisible and then okay that was perfect i even got the eager artillery down this time that's gonna be a huge help for me so i'm just gonna join my queen from the bottom we're gonna zoom out on this one and just sit here like this uh because my warden is going to be uh in a bit of trouble just like that i'm just gonna rage him up as well um freeze the enemy king right over there hopefully that saves him a little bit uh no okay he's choosing to go for the warden uh, uh for the enemy king over there that's a little unfortunate but it's nothing that we cannot deal with okay I think the Royal Champion and the Warden together should be able to get that monolith down. That's a little bit pesky in a way. And yeah, let's just get the rest of this attack moving. Not really much else for me to do. I'm just going to protect my Royal Champion with some Super Barbarians. And um, yeah, with the help of this um, haste while as well, she should be able to do some good damage in the core. I'm not very concerned about her. And now we just need to give ourselves access into the core itself. Um, yeah, sounds about right. I think now uh, it's just up to my queen and my warden. Uh, my queen and my king, but you can already see like this base is a done deal. Like that gauntlet and her frozen arrow together. Um, yeah, no chance that this core is going to survive at all. And that's another three star for us. So this time I managed to make my warden go to the top of the base. And as soon as I noticed that he was not going to take the monolith before the enemy king, I just joined it with my own royal champion and that works out very well. Like, <laughs> especially with the skeleton spell over there providing the distraction, um, it's just it's just a free rage spell for your own royal champion. And of course, you have your haste while as well as your royal gem to just pick her up if she does require it. So, uh, once again, very interesting thing that we did. Um, uh, just do notice that i i fireball this area and after i noticed my warden started walking up over here uh, we just take advantage of the hole that he created in the middle of the base and we send our queen exactly where the warden had started from so in a way it's kind of like exactly how you do some lalo kind of attack um you create a hole in the base and <laughs> as soon as i saw my warden is walking this way um i'm just gonna continue this is like the funnel for my for the rest of my heroes for to go along in the other direction so yeah um, easily done three star i guess i didn't speak too much but we've got one more attack in this video for you guys let's just move on to it i'm not even surprised at this point like we've been receiving a lot of weird bases today very very honestly um but this one has to be the easiest out of the entire lot so as to say so once again <laughs> let's just start at the top of the base on this one it should be pretty self-explanatory what we're trying to do on this one um i'm just gonna go ahead and remove the entire town hall compartment so let's just let's just do that okay i'm gonna have to freeze this mortar just because i want my flame finger to go ahead and grab that value and um oh, i'm gonna try to grab that wizard tower before the builder gets it up okay okay we're fine we're fine what else can i do Hmm. I go ahead and grab this cannon down as well a little early. That should help me. And what I can do is, I can preemptively just double quake this area, make the archer tower invisible, and fireball. There we go. Okay, that's the entire core just immediately gone. I think my warden's gonna walk off very, very, very much to the south. 
I might have to protect him a bit over here and even like rage him up. I don't have many resources left to really save him. I hope he goes for the town hall and then continues walking. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Uh, not much for me to worry about over there now. Uh, yeah, let's just try to keep him in control in a way. Okay, I think that that is also fine. Next up, I'm going to try to make the giant gauntlet go for the core over here. So let's just funnel my king in like that. And uh, of course, we'll use the queen to funnel as well. So kind of standard uh, mechanics, you could say, to just funnel <laughs> your king and queen wherever you want them to go. Uh, I'll also start my royal champion over here. And I might as well give her a rage. I'm thinking I'll drop like two healers on her and um, just let her heal up. I don't really need much support for my queen over here. Sure, I lost my warden, but again, nothing that we cannot really handle. So, wow, that king is... <laughs> Where is he going? <laughs> it's okay, he should still be able to handle most of the core over there. I'm not too concerned about him. Um, yeah, with his phoenix, as especially with his phoenix, he should be able to handle most of it. And of course, I've given my royal champion two healers over there that's doing a fantastic job as well. I can just throw in the rest of my resources and this is another triple as well. Hopefully I can get it down before the time runs out. And um, oh, I didn't even notice that there were two buildings over here. But um, yeah, very, very simple one for our last attack. I didn't really have to commentate much. It was very obvious what we needed to do with the fireball in this one. Um, and we just took full advantage of it. So that's the end of the video, I guess, like very, very, um, very easily done with the fireball. I guess the mistakes I made were just a lack of like multitasking on my part. Uh, but that's, that's fine. I guess you guys can learn from my mistakes as well. So that's, that's about it for me in this one. I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah. Okay. Peace.